Hello and welcome to section 6, working with multiple view controllers. In the previous section, we learned how to work with UI table view, including UI table view cells, and loading all the data into our table view. In this section, we're going to begin by embedding your view controllers within a UI navigation controller. After that, we're then going to start moving around the project using segways. And finally, we're going to look at how we can pass our objects from one view controller to another to get access to the data. So in order to start moving around our project, we're going to need to make use of the UI Navigation Controller. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what exactly a UI Navigation Controller is. We'll also look at how we set the root view controller, and what are the major changes after embedding within a Navigation Controller. Currently, we have two view controllers in our application. We have our view controller, which we use for creating and storing our dreams, and marking them as complete. Currently, however, we have no way of moving around our app. This is where UI Navigation Controller comes in. This class, which is a subclass of UI View Controller, is used to create your navigation stack and deals with which controllers you came from, which you will go to, and which ones are there within this stack based on what you tell it. It also works out which view is currently visible and deals with all of the standard transition animations. Before we can start moving between view controllers, we first have to tell our controllers that they are part of this stack. As you can see at the moment, my table view controller is the initial view controller that we'll go into. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my table view controller. And then I'm going to go up to the top menu, select editor, move down to embed in, and then I'm going to select navigation controller. This embeds my table view within the navigation controller and tells it it's going to be the first item within my navigation stack several things have happened. The first is that a new controller appears on our storyboard. This is a representation of the navigation controller. The second is that since we had our table view as the initial view controller, this has now been changed to the navigation controller. The third is that a connection from our navigation controller to our table view controller has been created. This is telling the navigation controller that its root view controller is now the table view controller we created before. And finally, our table view controller now has a navigation bar at the top. Let's run this and see the results. As you can see, when we run this, we now have a table view on our screen and we have our navigation bar at the top.